Hi there, I'm guessing most of you are from my Instagram or my YouTube channel, Mr. Liam Matthias, if that's the case. Thanks for coming over and supporting me on here. This is a brand new channel and it is going to be featuring art and more creative things I do. At the beginning of this year, I decided to put together a challenge where I draw something every week of the year. So for 2020, there are 52 prompts. Week one was beginning and so I was looking at seeds and I came across a maple seed which kind of looked like a wing and so I got the idea to get into making something with wings and because I really like drawing bodies and that's kind of the main thing that I do on Instagram I wanted to incorporate that so I came up with this idea of having somebody revealing his little wings and having the potential to have bigger wings and I did want to explore a little bit with color but I didn't have the confidence to actually put that and publish it so it's just black and white this one maybe in the future I'll go for color next week's is wild and I feel like that's a good time to do color but who knows I've always kind of been drawn to line art from when I was in school and I kind of found that the most natural form of art to do so it's not that difficult for me to just do that automatically but I have found ways to improve my art over the last couple months I'd say. If you look back at some of my old drawings you'll see that the lines for shading are very straight and go in one direction most of the time but I've tried more recently to follow the curve of different shapes to try and make it look more realistic. Another thing I used to do was not cross hatch or when I did cross hatch it was really bold and just singular straight lines so at the moment I'm really into breaking that up a little bit and doing really little lines and just seeing how that goes. One thing I really want to start improving on is free drawing. A lot of the stuff I do at the moment is traced and I know I've got the potential to draw things from references and do them myself but I'm really nervous about people seeing my flaws in my art so I'm kind of pushing back that side of me that wants to free draw things. So maybe in the future this will be a good place to explore that. You can kind of see here how it's starting to look and after this video I was playing around with the colours and I started to put in the box behind the person and I felt like that really gave it some depth. And then I always use this kind of sketchbook slash bullet journal grid paper. I used to follow someone on Tumblr called Casper's Kid Sister. I can't find them anymore. But they always used to draw on scrap pieces of paper. And I really loved the dimension that that gave to the drawings. So since then I've kind of loved drawing on this kind of grid. You can see me drawing in the box here. And I use Procreate on my iPad. I've just got an iPad 7 I think is what it's called. I really wanted to make the wings more visible as well so I made them white on the black and then black on the kind of cream background and when you look kind of far away from it it feels like it's all one colour but it's not so it's a bit of an illusion. So that was my first prompt video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back hopefully next week with my next prompt which is wild and until then i will see you soon let me know what kind of things you'd like to see on here and thanks for watching bye